so excited to share this with you. I've only just learned this. Maybe it's been here forever, but I've just learned this. And so now I'm going to share it with you. Um, this is how to upload a video that's on your phone into Canvas Studio, staying on your phone. So you don't have to get on your desktop to do this or figure out how to get it into Studio. Check this out. If you go to the Canvas Teacher app, so you have to have that downloaded um, on your phone free. I'm going to be showing you this on Android, but it's an iOS um, or Android app. It opens up once you've looked for SDCCD, logged in. I'm not going to show you all those steps, um, but you will see your dashboard. Okay, then go to the top left and you'll see a studio option in this menu. That is new to me. I never knew that that was there. Hello? Um, so once you've opened up Studio on your phone, you're going to go to this, uh, the three dots that are in the menu here, top right, and you're going to go upload from device, right? Because I've already recorded my video. And then I'm going to do media because I've already recorded it. And here's the one I want to add. Let's find that one that you want to add. And now it's going to upload. You can see it's giving me um, the percentage that it's uploading right now. So let me give that a pause while this goes. Okay, that finished uploading and you can see now it's rendering uh, the thumbnail image. Let's see what it comes up with for the thumbnail image. Um, that's going to take a second to process. So let me pause this again. Okay, I get that little message. The file you have uploaded is now ready for viewing. I don't see the thumbnail, but that just might be because it's um, still getting processed. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that video and hit the view button. And it stretched me out. Uh oh, I don't know if that's just how it looks on this screen. Yeah, it does look kind of stretched out. Drag from top and t let's see. There we go. Include. I'm so excited to share this with you. I um... So maybe that's just the, hopefully that's just the way that that um, thumbnail looked temporarily. Um, okay, so then while I'm here, because we want those captions to come in, you have the menu at the bottom. Make sure that you tap over to captions and that while you're here, go ahead and request those captions. English as the language spoken. I'm going to hit request and it says caption generation request has been sent. Um, you can see at the bottom it says processing. So I'll pause this again and come back once those are ready to be published. Okay, so processing has finished, but you can see there it says not published. So now we're going to hit the three dots and say review and publish. Let's see if it lets me edit in here. I'm going to do the three dots again and say insert caption. No, I don't need to insert. Yeah, I can just tap on what I need to edit and save it while I'm here. Just found out that there's an easy. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. Save way to just want to do it move videos from your phone into studio let me make that capital so i'm just going through i won't make you guys watch me do all of these um but this is very easy to edit always when i'm walking my dog okay let me pause this and finish edit Okay, I have finished making all my edits to that transcript, and now in the three dots, I'm going to hit the publish button. Again, it's just that thumbnail that's kind of stretched out is what I'm noticing. But now, let's see if I can turn on captions on this video. Yes, captions. Let's turn them on. English. Ah, I'm so excited. And now when I play the video, let's go and watch this video. I just found out that there's a way to easily move videos from your phone into studio. You guys, that's so because exciting to me. Not only can you move them into studio, but you can also uh, request captions, edit the captions, and publish from studio. How cool is that? Yes. Hope you're as excited as I am. Bye.